it's Danny Flexen here for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by the English light heavyweight champion, Joel McIntyre. Joel, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, mate. Are you okay? I haven't spoken to you for a while. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, you've got a defence coming up uh, next week, I think it is, against Ricky Summers, Digger, Digger as he's known. Um, up there in his kind of backyard as well in the Midlands. Just tell us about that and how preparation's been going. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's mandatory. They they won the purse bids. And uh, so we're going up to their backyard. But, I mean, we had to go up to Newark and win the title in in. Chad Sutton's backyard, and so that's no, that's no, um, no problem for us. Um, preparation has been lovely. Portugal last week, been up um, amongst it in arguably the best gym in the country. This week, uh, Ben Davidson Performance Centre with Barry Smith, an old friend. So, um, yeah, as far as preparation, yeah, spot on, mate. Who have you been kind of moving around with, both in in Portugal and down in um, where is it? Their gym is in Essex, obviously. Yeah, yeah, Harlow. Um, That's it, Harlow. I was there. Yeah, the so I was, in, I was in Portugal with uh, um, Ernie Rutherford Junior. Mm. Yeah, so um, I started moving around with him a couple of years back. Uh, he was there when I won the English title. They were a big part. Him and his old man were a big part of the uh, team and a big part of the reason that we that we won that up there. Obviously on on um, enemy enemy territory. But um, so yeah, so we're we're very close. And so I was moving around with him in in Portugal. Um, I think he's got a, a bright future ahead. He's a likable guy. Very nice guy. Very. Good, good heart. He's um, but he also can fight. Got all the stuff that you can't teach. Got a good heart. Got a great chin. Can punch. Can box. So yeah, there's there's Ernie. Um, so yeah, I've been moving around with him quite a lot. Um, we've got some other guys that have, that have visited our gym, base camp in Hillsy. Um, and so we've been doing rounds with um. I can't even say his name. Italian guy, Giovanni something. Uh, he's a super middleweight from Italy. He's uh, affiliated with Michael Ballingall. Oh. Um, yeah, so so he brought him in. So we did a few days sparring down here. That was that was good. So yeah, plenty of good work. And what about in Harlow? Because obviously that's that's a very talented gym. Yeah. So. Um, um, it was a few weeks back. Uh, Al- Alloy, Alloy is oh, there? I'm sorry. Aloysius. Yeah. Huh? Is it Alo- Alois or Aloysius? Um, yeah, it's not that. He's a young lad. Yeah. A cruiserweight. Tank. But obviously getting the best, getting the best mentoring up there. So he can, he knows how to box as well. Did some rounds of him. Yeah, like I say, he's an absolute tank. So and he's a good kid as well. So he's one to watch for for sure. I don't know if he got a TV spot on his last one, but he um he was on the big show. But yeah, he's he's he could be special just because I I think he's got the raw talent and also the um the mentoring at that gym, you know. So he's going to be taught everything he needs to he needs to know. And with you going once again to enemy territory, it must be pretty reassuring to know that you're you're a very big punch up. It's not like you have to be concerned too much. I mean, obviously you want to win on points if you don't knock um, Summers out, but you know you've got that in your locker even on away territory. Yeah, I mean, listen, if if nothing else, I, I I'm not going to even lie. I'm definitely not the best boxer out there, but. Um, I didn't have a great uh, amateur. I uh, got no amateur pedigree, really. Twelve fights, um, just all sort of like local shows, and just oh, I actually tell a lie. I did win the Haringey Cup back at, back then, and I won that by knockout. The only knockout of the weekend. <laughs> that was before that went really. That went really big. I remember that was on um, uh, what was it? Box Nation a couple of times. So oh. that was cool. But yeah, I got. I mean, I got that. No ABAs to speak of. Anything like that, really. Um, so. Yeah, I'm definitely not the greatest boxer, but I've always, if nothing else, been been strong, like physically strong, um, head like a piece of granite. You know what I mean? Like just uh, hard to hard to hurt, and just um, good poker face, and 
and and yeah so yeah there is that there's always that it's good to have that like equalizer in the locker um but as the old the old boxing thing says if you go looking for the knockout it never comes so I can't go looking for that I mean on the night it's about it's about a boxing display for me I'm gonna gonna be um looking at a boxing display because I don't think people think that I can box, but I, I, I can. I've been in it long enough, so I know. And um, I definitely know tricks and I know how to fight. Um, so that's that's the number one. And like I say, if, if the big punch lands, then I know that the hands are heavy, so anything can happen. We last saw you on the boxer show against Lyndon Arthur. A big step up in class, it has to be said. Now, although yeah. the result didn't go your way, does that kind of mix him with someone of that level? Does that stand you in good stead going up against someone like Summers? Do you know what? If I'm honest, not really. I, I had like three minutes in there with, with Lyndon. Um, I was really like, it, it was the class difference. It was the fact that I, it was a uh, late notice. Mm. So, you know, the fight wasn't, you know, I hadn't prepared for the fight, hadn't been really mixing with the top levels. And he is class, you know, he's, he's top class. Um, so, no, I don't think that really comes down. I mean, I hope that makes my opponent feel a bit better seeing me get stopped like that. That's 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 fine, you know. Um, I wish, I really wish it had lasted a little bit longer if I'd just moved my head a little bit more. The first round was good. Second round, I just drifted in that distance for a, a little bit too long. Uh, I spoke to Lyndon after. He's a, he's a good guy. I spoke to him after the fight, and he said, "He said, listen, that that that, that hand has to come off a little bit higher. You're, you're open, you know, open to a shot. And we we trained for that. We knew we'd eventually get the distance, throw the one two, and could land the rear hand. And obviously, that was evident that that what happened. But um, you know, I mean, I like the experience." Uh, Wasserman uh, were class. They they looked after us. They really were. That um, it it wasn't anything too OTT. It wasn't over the top, but they really did. They 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 run a good. They, you know they they run a good ship there. You know. So I, think I called um, it a, a boxer show. So I should apologise. The Wasserman show. <laughs> You've just pointed yeah, out. Yeah, it's Wasserman. Yeah, yeah. Get Callis Sorry, Sourland I, I on didn't... the phone in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna call you up. No, but, um, <laughs> No, I get the I get I get the mix up because obviously the boxer was um was Liam Smith from the last one with the Westman with the um yeah, yeah I, I yeah. get that. So don't don't shoot down Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, yeah. John. Um yeah, so what I'm guessing ambition wise for you now, it's gotta be that British title, hasn't it? You you've won the English more than once now, <laughs> you've defended it. The next logical stage would be British. I know Dan Aziz is the current champion, but he's going for the European title um, around the same time as your fight, I believe, same weekend uh, out in France. He that might then vacate. Would you expect to be in the shake-up for that vacant title if it happens? Oh, yeah, I definitely expect to be, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it goes vacant and there's, it doubles the chances, obviously. Uh, and obviously, he's not going to defend it if he's if he's fighting for the uh, European. Um, I like the way Dan Aziz has done things, by the way, because he's gone southern area, he's gone area, and then he's gone um, obviously English, UK, and then he's moving on to European. That's for me just a shout out. That's that's class. I really I got a lot of time for that. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing he's going to move on, and then um, it, it'll leave that open. I mean, there's a there's a central area champion, and I don't know about the southern area, but obviously English, it would make sense. For the English to go forward, I mean, I remember uh, last time I had the English and I defended it. It was a British eliminator, like an official British eliminator. So um, definitely, my name should be in there for that. And that is, yeah, that's. Um, I mean, no, no secrets. That's my number one goal. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm 35 years old. I'm coming towards the end, but I want a. Um, I want a. I want a big title before before it, it's over. Great stuff. Now, I want to ask you as well, we saw a fight take place on Sunday night. Um, I'm sure you're aware of it. Uh, Jake Paul and Tommy <coughs> Fury. Well, 
around your weight class. Obviously, it was a catch weight, but they're, they're, Tommy certainly wants to play his trade at light heavy. What, what did you make of it? Did you watch it? Do you know what? Honestly, we bought it. We sat and went to went to watch it. Got a bit late for me on a Sunday night. I'm 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 like a, I'm an early riser, but I'm a you know I'm in bed by ten o'clock, so I got a bit late. And um, I, I did see Badu Jack do do what he had to do. That was class. But you know I didn't watch it, and I haven't watched it all the way through. I've seen bits and pieces. Um, I mean, what do you think of the fight? I thought it was enjoyable to watch because it was competitive. I didn't think technically it was very good, obviously. But, yeah, I mean, I didn't mind it. I thought it was quite, you know, fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. So, again, look, I mean, I've got no time for Jake Paul. I think he's just a, like a rich kid, pretender. You know what I mean? He's a Disney kid. He's, I've got no time for that. Like, you're coming into a, it's For me, boxing is a, is a working class man's sport yeah that's basically where it came from you know it's just that's what it is you can't just come in with all the means and all the backing in the world and all the best trainers all the best condition and all that and just come and that i think that's what really gets to people mm. and it definitely gets to me a little bit about people like that um i mean i don't spend no time on him I i'm just not interested in jake paul whatsoever but tommy fury on the other hand obviously pretty boy he's been in his he's been in the um Love Island, although I can't confess to, to uh, watching that. I can't, yeah, I just can't. can't. <laughs> but no, but but they're a fighting family. They got pedigrees. It's that family. Um, I've got a lot of time for like traveling people and that. They're just they're just no no nonsense. Um, so I like I do like Tommy Fury. Um, he was quiet for the whole of the build up. Jake Paul was doing all of the build up for that last fight, and he was pretty quiet. And then the last time he just came in and just was like, right, I've been busy, so I am going to mess you up. So blah, blah, blah. It, it was good, you know. So I'm really glad he got the win. I'm really glad he did. And if if he decides that he's going to, because, you know, I've, I've been around and people will say, oh, that wasn't any higher than, like, you know, area level and, you know, whatever. You're asking so, what questions for me. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Go ahead again. Well, no, I was going to say exactly that. No, but I was going to say exactly that. The people are saying, is it area level? Is it English title level? I mean, I'd say it's probably not even area level. But what what did you what do you make of it when people talk about it being around that sort of level? I, I think it's more based on the amount of fights that he's had. So uh, what's he on now? Eight? Is it eight? I think it's nine. Like... Having won that one. Yeah, nine. Okay, so yeah, you're going into double figures. You are looking for titles. I think on my 12th fight, I was looking for a southern area. Um, so you, you are looking for titles. Yeah, you are. Especially if he could... Obviously, he's had a taste of the big time. So that experience, that's what I've seen in all the in all the interviews that he's talking. My experience now is... is in, and he, he's still humble. I, I really have. I've got a lot of time for the lad. But... um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, listen, if the board's sanction it, I'm going to bring that belt home next week. They want a shot. It seems like the um, seems like the thing to do, the, the route to go for him. You know, he, he should go, you know, maybe is he going to go for the Southern area? Do you really believe he's going to go for the Southern area, whether he thinks it or not? I mean, it's it, central, I know, maybe central Midlands, area for him, but I think... Central. I think yeah, his so, trainer trains the Central Area champion, so I don't know if they'd fight anyway. So Mickey Ellison. Oh, okay, yeah, so that puts that in. Well, then he's gonna have to go straight to the English. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, great. Well, you'd love it, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Great. Why not? You know what I mean? You'd fancy that, presumably. I mean, you know, no disrespect to Tommy, he did what he had to do, but you, you'd rank yourself. Presu- I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you'd think you'd have the beating of him, considering the experience you've had, the people you've beaten. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, where I'm at right now as well, like what I'm, um, where I'm going with things. Yeah, definitely. I've got the experience, um, and yeah, you know, I'm, I am a man. I, I'm, I'm totally open to defending my title to anybody. I mean, when my, when when I won that English uh, back in uh, July, I had messages from people, you know, Midland, uh, Central Area, Midlands, whatever, and. Um, Ricky Summers even messaging me, yeah. Um, how do you fancy a fight then? Do you fancy a fight? I said, yeah, yeah, of course. Speak to my, speak to my team, and yeah, let's make it happen. You know, so I'm, 
I'm open to that. I'm, that's the whole point of boxing for me, you know. It's supposed to be mano on mano and and that's basically what it's meant to be, you know. I understand the whole the whole thing with the um journeyman and working your way up and getting your experience and stuff, but I'm yeah, I am past that. So I'm looking at yeah, tests. Great stuff. Just one question about the kind of dilemma, if you like, facing Tommy Fury now. A lot of people have talked about this since the fight. He can stay fighting kind of YouTubers, crossover sort of boxers and making quite a lot of money. But he's always said he's got those dreams of doing it the traditional route and winning a world title and all that sort of stuff. But he will get paid significantly less for doing that. What would you do if you had those opportunities? What, if I was Tommy? Yeah. If you could make a lot of money against easier opposition or you could go the <laughs> traditional route and get the glory, but for a lot less cash. Yeah, no, I, I I would probably get knocked out if I was going for a big fight. If I was going for a lesser, op like, no, I, let me take that back. Say I was going to fight a YouTuber and I was in his position. I just don't know how he gets up for it. I don't know how you get up early in the morning and train. I don't know how you put yourself through the hard stuff. Because at the end of the day, you're still there. You're still on TV. There's the there's the nervous energy taken out of you. You've still got to be fit. You've still got to be able to fight. I don't know how you could be up for it. If 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 you're saying that you're a boxer and you're a pro boxer, which, like I say, I, I want nothing but respect for those guys. He's he wants. I think he wants to. I think he. I think he'll do it. Like if you can't get up for it because of the money, is it really? I mean, whatever he's just made from that last one. He's sorted for a minute, isn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, you're okay for a minute. This paycheck doesn't matter. It's got to be about something more than the paycheck. Like, if, if you want to, if you really want to um, compete in British boxing and world boxing eventually, you've got to do that like that. Like, he's he's comfortable. I mean, I know, I know for a fact when I'm, when I'm comfortable and everything's safe at home, I know my bills paid and everything like that, I'm more in, I'm, I'm more dangerous, you know? So things like that, yeah, I, what's, what would be the point in fighting somebody like me if if you weren't really interested, you know? Brilliant. Really, really appreciate your time, mate. And uh, best of luck next week, of course, as well. Let, let's catch up again after that fight, if that's all right. Yes, absolutely, mate. Always a pleasure.